That fence needs mending. Now, if you look behind me, the pretend farmer is building a paddock. This is gonna be a 50 foot wide by 70 foot long enclosure that is good for animals. And I'm not gonna tell you exactly what we're putting in here yet, cause I still want it to sort of be a surprise. But whether you're getting goats, pigs, cattle, whatever it may be, anything but chickens, you pretty much are gonna to need to tension your fence pretty tight. That's whether you're going with high tensile or welded wire, woven wire. In this case, we've got a pretty heavy gauge woven wire fence, four foot tall. We're gonna to need to stretch this fence tight. And the reason why is because larger animals, if you got a floppy fence, they'll just push it right over, go over top of it. It won't work. You need a fence to be stretched good and tight. And as a general rule, all fences look better when they're stretched tight and they don't have any slop in them. Well, in order to do that, A, you need to have a way to stretch your fence, which we're gonna show you later. But first of all, you gotta have good corners. And the reason why it's important to have good strong corners is because the corners is where all your weight's gonna be pulling in from the fence. So if you just box something in and go to tighten it up, it's gonna pull your corner posts in and it's gonna end up looking more like a, I guess a sloppy circle than an actual square or rectangular paddock. By bracing your corners, you're allowing yourself to be able to pull against those corner posts and they're not gonna move. That's exactly how a corner of a fence should look once it's braced. So there's several different ways to brace your corners when you're running fence with T-posts. A lot of people will actually switch to wood posts for their corners and then they'll use cable to wrap and tension them together. If you're a really handy farmer and you know how to weld, you can actually weld your own braces for your corners. But let's say you're a pretend farmer, like me. I'm gonna show you an easy way to brace your corners and make them look real professional. Anybody can do this. It takes maybe 15 minutes. It's real easy. What you're gonna do for starters is you're gonna go to your corner with your T-post and you're gonna drive your corner post in right where you want your corner to be. Pretty straightforward. We've got our corner in place. We just need two posts to brace our corner to in each direction that the fence is going. So we're gonna measure off this corner and we're gonna use another T post to do it. These are all the same length posts. From this corner post to this post that I'm gonna brace it to, I'm gonna measure from this wing here right at the top edge to the end of the T post, going from this one to this one. There you have it. Same thing goes with the other post. There you can see how I've measured it. That kind of gives you an idea of how I measure. I found that the method of using a spare T post to measure your corner post to your braced posts, that's just the simplest method to do. You don't even need a tape measure. And in a nutshell, you're measuring about 14 inches shy of the length of this post. And that's gonna allow it to come out about right when you go to brace it. Now what we're using is a wedge lock kit number 205. It's a corner kit for T-posts. This works the same for all these T-post kits. You're gonna measure from the tip of this post. I'm gonna put this on the corner. I'm gonna go to about right here for my brace post on each end of the corner. And then we're ready to install this wedge lock kit. Now what they do is they send this locking mechanism here with this key that slides into it. And this is gonna lock onto your post for your corner. You're gonna put the top bracket so that it lines up with the bottom bracket. And there's no set notch for this. You just have to kind of eyeball it and guesstimate to where it's gonna look the best. I can tell by holding this up there that that's gonna be about the right angle. And so that's where I'm gonna put this. And all you do is you literally just pop it in place. <laughs> Same thing with the other side. I'm gonna put my angle bracket on. And there's your corner.
There's an up-close look at your bracket. There's no screws, nothing. You just lock that thing in. You put your angle bracket on, run your T-post up to your corner, and then at the top of your corner post, coming off both ways, it just pops up into that angle bracket there. And literally, as long as you measured it right using the method I showed you, your corner post will look professional and neat, just like this. And the way this works essentially is as we stretch the fence around that corner and pull on it, it's not gonna take that post and move it in. These braces are gonna keep that thing from wobbling, keep it sturdy. You're gonna really be able to tension that fence. The main purpose of this video was just to show you why it's important to brace your corners and how to do it when you're running fence. As you can see, it's not that hard. You can do this. It's about a $22, $24 kit for these brackets that'll brace these posts. And I'm gonna leave you the part number for that and the manufacturer name in the description of this video in case you're interested in doing this for yourself. You really don't need any tools at all once you get your posts driven. Now, if you're getting ready to run fence on your farm, be sure and subscribe to the Pretend Farmers channel here because we're gonna have a couple more fence videos coming up. We're going to do a video on actually stretching this fence out, showing how you stretch it and attach it to the posts. And we're going to do another video showing how we make a gate for this paddock. So if that's something that interests you, be sure and hit the subscribe button so you can follow the journey as we complete our fenced enclosure. Till next time, this is the Pretend Farmer, signing out.